Hey, it's Yuri Experience and today we are talking about micronutrients. Finally, the last video about the basics of nutrition, video about micronutrients. Prior to this point, we talked about macronutrients, nutrients that we need in big amounts. And today we are talking about micronutrients. By the way, if you missed previous videos, they are all in the playlist in the description. Micronutrients are nutrients that we don't need in big amounts, but we still have to eat them or we will die. A good fact, if you eat macronutrients, you also consume more or less enough micronutrients. Yes, it can be possible that you have some deficiency in some of micronutrients, but majorly you eat foods, you have more or less enough micronutrients. But let's jump back a little. What kinds of micronutrients are there? There are two kinds of micronutrients, vitamins and minerals. The main difference between these two is the fact that vitamins are organic and minerals are not organic. Which is why, although technically you could eat stones and get enough minerals, although I do not recommend you to do that, still you wouldn't have enough of all of the micronutrients because vitamins you only can get from plants or animals. Each of these micronutrients can be divided in two groups – vitamins in water-soluble and fat-soluble, and minerals in macro-minerals and trace minerals. Water-soluble vitamins, as can be understood from its name, can dissolve in water. These vitamins are not stored in our bodies. We consume them, our body uses them, and residual comes out with urine. Examples of water-soluble vitamins all B vitamins and with vitamin C. Fat-soluble vitamins are not dissolved in water and our bodies can store them. Our bodies usually do it on liver. Examples here would be vitamin A and vitamin D. The main difference between macro-minerals and trace minerals is an amount of how much of these minerals do we need. Basically, you need more macro-minerals than trace minerals. Examples for macro-minerals – calcium and chloride. Examples for trace minerals – iodine and zinc. What do micronutrients do in our bodies? Pretty much a lot. They participate in every second activity of our bodies, being it energy production, being it immunity, being it cancer prevention, being it taking care of our skin or bones or participating in different kinds of reactions that happen in our bodies. Micronutrients participate pretty much everywhere. There are some different doses how much of each micronutrient shall you consume, but I will not write all of them down because there are way too many micronutrients. You can just google that, there are enough reliable sources that can provide you information about that. But speaking of consuming enough, yes, you can consume not enough and it can and will have negative influence on your body and on your health. And you can also consume way too much, which also is not a good thing and also can damage your health. How is it possible to eat not enough micronutrients? Basically, it comes from the fact that not every kind of food has every mineral and vitamin in it. Which is why if you don't eat variety of foods, different kinds of food, preferably vegetables and fruits, then there is higher probability that you don't eat enough of some micronutrients. Here my recommendation would be eat variety of foods. If you eat variety of foods, and there's even one suggestion, eat different color of food every day. And if you do that, then the probability that you have some deficiency in some of macronutrient is relatively low. If you think that you have some micronutrient deficiency, please don't decide on yourself, okay, I will take supplement or I will take whatever, because basically, Thanks to that, there's really high probability that you will get way too much of some kind of micronutrient. Since a lot of supplements are not really well regulated, the doses of micronutrient in that supplement can be just way too high for your needs. And then you consume that, and if your body doesn't take care of this residual micronutrient, then you can develop some problems. An example. Most of the B vitamins are water-soluble vitamins, which is why you can consume 
them over the top, but your body will get rid of them anyway. But if you will consume way too much vitamin D, then it will get stored on your liver, which can have negative influence on your body. My recommendation? I think it is an obvious one. If you think that you have deficiency or if you think that you consume way too much of some micronutrient, go to the medical specialist, ask for some tests and then they will advise you what you shall do. Maybe you need to eat more different kinds of food. Maybe you really need a supplement. That is also possible. But still take an advice from a doctor first. In summary, we consume a lot of food and our bodies are kind of smart, they know how to use that food to get the best out of it. Which is why if you just want to be healthy, then consume enough of different kinds of food so your body has enough building parts, enough of macronutrients and enough of micronutrients. And basically for most of people with normal diet, with normal plant-based diet, it's not a huge problem. Most of you will not develop any conditions connected to these things if you don't have any predetermined condition. Which is why, please, eat enough plants, eat a little bit of meat if you are not against that and you're good to go. You will have enough of everything and you will be healthy and that is good. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. You can also subscribe to the channel. I do regular videos about different topics. And next time I will be talking about possibility of 100%. If you have any questions or topic suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I will try to respond to your comments. Also, I will maybe do an independent video about that. Or I will read about the topic first. I do not know everything. But I do know a lot. That's all for today and see you next time.